Fellow Kenyans, we want to inform you that we are expanding our capacity for the purposes of intervention measures, particularly in the counties. I want to take this opportunity to say that as NAC, we are particularly grateful to the initiatives of the private sector and other donor communities who are working with the government are achieving. The private sector, for instance, has identified various areas, including schools, including air flight hangars, that can be used if the need were to arise. They can be used as uh, hospitals, isolation facilities, if we were to go that far. And let me make it clear that there is no country on earth that has managed to contain this disease on, its, on just existing health facilities. So we know that going forward, it is indeed very likely that our health facilities can and could be overrun by just the demands. And this is why we are saying this is not a government issue alone. The protection of each individual's life, the protection against this disease, is an individual responsibility as it is a community responsibility. And what we are asking our community, the business community, the religious community, everybody, is let us think ahead together. Let us ask ourselves realistically, if in other countries, if the British NHS, National Health Service in the UK, has already been overrun by the demands of, uh, of the illness, if in Italy it has happened, and if America is uh, claiming that they don't have this and they don't have the other, and their health facilities have also been overrun, isn't it realistic to imagine that it could also happen here? And criticizing the government at that point is just adding insult to injury to Kenyans. It is at that point that we as a nation should do what we have always done in times of extreme testing and in times of extreme challenges. We have always come together in our communities, in our villages, and done what needs to be done. In this particular case, we need to be looking as communities in your villages, what are the secondary schools, particularly boarding secondary schools, that we can begin to identify as potential areas where we can keep the sick if the situation overruns. We ought to be identifying what sort of, what, what sort of new Bakumi initiatives should we have if that happens. There will be no need to cry woof and to start uh, blaming the government at that point because it will be late. We need to think about owning this process as a government, as a community, and as Kenyans. Let us appreciate this is a Kenyan's issue, and every Kenyan should be on board to try and resolve the problem long before it becomes a menace to the rest of us and to all of us.